Hello everyone. I have a bunch of these displays. Uh, yes, they easy to connect and uh, after blink you should try to connect them. Uh, here I have Arduino model. Here I have an Arduino shield with display and some buttons. So I want to write uh, a code for it. In fact, I don't want to write it. I want to use chat DPC to write it for me. So let's try it. First, we need to open this up. Uh, I don't know if it's enough for it. We have to find out. But basically, it's already pre made Arduino shield that should. Plug it something like that thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we need to know, know the pin configuration for chat DPT to select the pins because obviously uh, he doesn't know about any of the pins. And it also have buttons. Uh, buttons uh, came to one port and it used uh, uh, resistor dividers to know what pin it, like it pressed. So first we need to try to find pin out for this board. This is what I have uh, and is this Arduino? Shield with LCD six two display and buttons. So yeah, and usually I just switch to images and yeah, looks like. This one. Yep, 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 yep. And here we have schematics. Uh, pins are analog, I think. Nope, 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 not, not this one. It has a uh, different. Uh, mm, Pin, pin, uh, ah, okay, here it's have x analog read, and if it's less than 60, it's right, if it's after 60 and above 200, it's up, down, left, down, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, here is also a reset button, but I think it's connected directly to the re reset. Very good, very convenient. Uh, mine have actually a little bit different. Yeah, mine doesn't have this analog uh, pins. Yeah. Uh, separate cookies. ESP connector. Yeah. Uh, here, analog pin is uh, A0. It's not connected. Uh, well, when, when you see it's not connected uh, outside, like extra row, that means it used by display. So. This row is used by display. So let's go to chat GPT and ask write me a code for our to inner shield mid to display with Buttons. 
So let's check. Okay, and here it used liquid crystal. Uh, I think every time it does this little bit different. Uh, button pin six second button buttons doesn't uh, do it. Uh, well, <laughs> before uh, starting a video, I did uh, try practicing and it was uh, different. Uh, it was working first time, but we can uh, like this good example. We can direct Chat GPT to fix the code. Button state low, blah blah blah. Yeah, we have to wait. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, stop. Can we press stop here? I don't know. Uh, maybe I, I did rephrase it differently. I didn't like save the request. Okay. We have buttons up, down, left, right, and select wired to a zero analog in boot please correct correct oh and it's starting to correct it and yeah button pin button state yeah 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 this is what we wanted button yeah it's like 50, there is an example was 70, 200, okay. We can later check, I think, we can even display this value. Or we can ask chat DPT to display this value, yes, yes. Okay, please display player display button value like that. Now need to know more. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And it start to modify. Actually, I think if we have this example here, and I think eight, nine, four, yeah, the pins are a little bit different. So pin RS use pin eight, and pin enable use. Oh, can we just copy this code to? No need to explain anything. Yeah. 
Very good. Let's see what he will get. Yes. Yes. Now, now we're talking. So, basically, we can use this part and the other part. Well, uh, if we use this part here, so. In order to run it, uh, I need to go to uh, Windows machine. Uh, I have this little bug here. It's uh, embedded idea. So it's uh, Arduino Studio on steroids. And here we can use uh, it to run the Arduino code. So it have uh, very good support of different boards. Very good. Stay micro, but we want to use Uno SMD Blinky. And we say it uh, chat JPT and YouTube. Okay. Yes. And here we create example for us. Let me put it like that. So it basically blink, blink example. So we need to delete it. Control V, yes, Control V works. Uh, and yeah, if we click build, it will say it, that it, it doesn't know what liquid crystal is, but it's easy to fix. Let me copy this. Here we have a library folder and download library. And we put Ctrl V, yes, and hit enter. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, where, where? I, I see it, I see it, yes. This is what we want. And, and now it should build. Uh, yeah, success. So let's back to Ark. Chat GPT. Um, here we have liquid crystal initialization. Uh, okay. We need setup, loop, and everything to here. Let's go back to. to, 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 to. Yeah, remote. Blinky. Liquid crystal. Control V. And I think we have two liquid crystals. Yeah, so this one have different pins. Let's leave the comment and hit build. And while builds, we need to 
connect our model. Right now it doesn't show anything. So let's flush it and build failed. Uh, we need to find the port. Yes, now flush it. And yes, yes, yes. And it displays, but very, not very bright. And it says, press a button. And I think I press the select button. Okay. Up, press it. Yeah. But it doesn't go to the second row. And it's not very bright. I think it's because it is updating constantly. That's not good, but I think it also can be uh, fixed with chart DPT. Now let's, let's go back. Let's try to fix it. Uh, yeah, let's check what code it does. Uh, please update screen only if button is present. Yeah, it could be a problem because uh, first one is like. Oh, oh, okay, maybe it's not. But the date. How does it know what, when the button is pressed, actually? Button press, button press. Yeah, so it's cleared. Uh, okay. Okay, here it's changed a little bit. Uh, now it has analog read, but clear and set cursor only done inside an if. Okay. We don't need to copy everything else. Only this one. Let me check. And flash. Nope. Not good. Because it constantly raised and uh, I mean, updated. Okay, but uh, that's it for now. Yeah, I show you how easy it use chat GPT for displaying like actual code for the user. So see you next time. Ciao.